Welcome back fellas to this new video to Express. Today I'm going to be checking out the process typically involving how to get started with connecting custom domain to Netlify. A really easily process would be walking you through the most flexible method. So the first thing is to adding the custom domain here into Netlify. If you go directly into your Netlify website, you want to focus into your site settings. And for this I'm going to click into the upper right corner so I can sign in. Directly here inside um, Netlify, I'm going to choose to log in directly with Google. The most easiest element is to choose my account, so all of this method has now been correctly signed in. So inside here into Netlify, what I'm going to be doing here is to choose my website, which in this case here it is. Now, uh, what I need to do is to into my site overview, I'm going to focus into my settings, usually here into my site settings. There we go. I'm going to click into my domains into the overview you can look how for the domain management and clicked onto it so as you can see here is my domain i'm going to be added i'm going to delete this in uh, and so on so i can do this process once again so i delete this and now let's start by adding the or register your domain so i already have my domain it have a custom domain so in this case i choose the option that says add a domain you already own this is the part where you wanted to enter your own domain.com element. So I'm going to head back directly where I have made the purchase of my custom domain. I'm going to go for my domain list. I'm going to choose the domain that I have made the purchase so I can copy this element. And I'm going to paste things down in here. Then choose the option that says verify. Now it says that this one has already been registered and is ready to be added to your site. If the registration is not being working on, then I needed to add the DNS record. So to add the DNS record, usually what I need to do, of course, is to verify and confirm. So Netlify will check if the domain is registered, just as you can see it's now been added in there. So to get the required uh, records, click into the domain just added. Netlify will provide you with the exact DNS record you need to add to the register. And we are specifically looking for two records the A record for the root domain and the C name for the triple W subdomain. So uh, if you are using a domain for other services, for example, you can add them later. So I can add the new record in here. So you can see it's going to be asking us for a record type, the name, the value, and the TTL. So usually this information can be located directly here into the name sheet, for example. I choose the option that says Managed. This is the place where I have made the departures of my domain. And I choose the option that says Advanced DNS. Directly here into the Advanced DNS, I can see that I have now this element. That means that I'm going to be using this specific domain so I can be adding this directly into this specific information. Once I have now choose this element, I have now uh, go for continue. And lastly, here's the domain name service. Directly here into my name service, you can see that we have the DNS one PO4 and so on.net. And basically this information, what I need to do is just to copy this information into paste it directly here into my domain name service. Once I have now finished with this process, let's get into the option that says done and we are actually good to go so adding the a record to the apex domain usually typically added to record in a record to host a name field should be the add symbol which represents the root domain and the value of the points to fill should be the IP address Netlify gave you. It usually starts something like 75.2.60.5 and you can see that we can add the record in here. Usually Stiplik is going to be looking something like this 75.2.60.5 right so this information is going to be really important in order to add the TTL element. Once you have now chose to add this specific element in this record, you want to save the CNAME record. And lastly, the finalizing the verification. The DNS, of course, changes and can take time. So anywhere from a few minutes to up to 48 hours. Thought it's usually faster. We can keep refreshing the Netlify domain management page. So once the DNS records update globally, Netlify will automatically detect them. So the status will change from awaiting external DNS to Netlify DNS or configured. And crucially, Netlify will automatically provision your free uh, SSL certificate for the HTTPS. 
and well there you go the last thing you need to do is just to go right here into your projects check out your own website after the status update is simply click the custom domain with and without the triple w into your browser it should now load the netlify site with a secure looped icon so that's it uh, your site is now live into your custom domain using external DNS. So if this is your helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe for more developer tips. Remember that this might be taking up to 48 hours to propagate, so you don't have to be discouraged just in case uh, your actual website or your new custom dom domain does not work for your Letlify. So take that in mind, guys. Thank you once again for watching this video. And well, we hopefully with all this information, we can all see you guys next time.